Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about something that, you know, humbled me today. <laughs> Just when you think you know everything, you don't know nothing. Okay, let's talk about JSON web tokens, right? And when you get the error of JWT not active, okay? And I'm going to give you the solution that you're going to be like, wait, what? So yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm just here minding my own damn business and I'm building a Shopify app on codingphase.com. Okay. Now I'm doing a request from the front end to the back end, right? Basically saving some data. And in the back end, there's an API. We get the data, we save it into the data database, right? But it needs to be authenticated. Now, for whatever reason, everything worked. Okay. Everything worked. And then from nowhere, it just stopped working and started giving me a 500 error. When I see the 500 error, I said, hmm, it's probably a problem in the server side, right? So I go in and start looking through the server. I'm like, wait, what happened? The routes is good. You know, as far as the database and, and the way how I'm inserting the data, everything is working good. Then I start going into uh, console login every single step. So console logging like every single step of like what's happening when this thing gets you know gets sent right so i'm going through the whole process of like okay creating a custom session right uh looking up the session looking up the, the information new session completed okay and then from there we get to this error where basically it tells me you know par session token so this is the session token that is passing now and then we get this jwt not active okay now i'm gonna copy this real quick and show you guys let me see parse jwt okay we open this up paste this here okay and we start looking at at this stuff here i'm like what the hell is this this is the payload okay going in where this is coming from okay audience okay subject okay expiration this is the MB, uh, mbf okay this is the iat okay and if we look into this on shopify's documentation this basically breaks it down you got your shop app domain your destination domain api key receiving app uh the user uh that session token is in, is intended for uh, expiration when the session token expires, uh, MBF when the session token is activates or whatever, right? When it's activated, uh, your IIT when the session token was issued, right? A secure random UID and unique session uh, ID per user app. Okay, so this is what we're getting. Now looking back on this, we can see this is where the token was set up. This is where basically it gets activated. This is when it gets basically expired okay so this is like one minute later is expired so if you try to do a request with that token that you first got initially got and you try to do it after a minute it's gonna give you an error okay it's gonna give you an error it's not gonna let you go through now the solution to all of this is funny enough inside of windows <laughs> so to fix this after searching and searching and searching, right? Because I read through every single line in here and I found out that it says JWT not active after Googling and looking through all the issues that other people were having, you know, someone gave us the answer <laughs> and shout out to Wei Kun Ye. Okay. December 16, 2021. He came in and said, Hey guys, if you're on windows 10, <laughs> this is what you got to do. Okay. Especially for development. Okay. You got to go to settings. Click on time and language, click sync now button, then restart your app and the session should be loaded. Okay. Now, mind you guys, this thing wasted so much time out of my day <laughs> trying to figure this out because I thought it was on my end. I'm like, there's something that I'm doing wrong. Okay. There's something that I'm doing wrong, but it wasn't me. It's something with time with, with windows and, you know, probably when it did a, a update, right? When it last did an update, right? So you have to go to settings, right? Click over here, right? Let's say you're on the home of the settings. You click on time and language. Once you're here, you got to click here, sync now. Okay. And that will basically 
uh, sync your, your computer to the time server uh, from Windows, right? Um, and basically just keep your, your time synced. And having your time synced is very important for JSON web tokens. Now, again, like, I don't know everything. And I don't sell myself in, in the sense of, like, I'm a freaking boy genius. I, I know every single thing that's out there. Okay? I don't. But I wanted to show you guys this, how a little bullshit <laughs> could really hold you back. Right? Something that who would have known? That was the issue. You would think that it's in your side of uh, 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 of your uh, uh, of your application, right? Like you're like, man, some somewhere I wrote something wrong, something broke. I don't know, right? But it comes to find out that it has to do with you got to synchronize your clock on Windows. Now I wonder how many people go through the same issue on Linux or on Mac, right? Because I've never had this issue before. I only had this issue on Windows. <laughs> I don't know, my guys, right? But I just wanted to show you guys this, how even with like 10 years in the game, you still find something that holds you back and there's a bump. And guess what? You might spend an hour, two hours, three hours on something that could be so simple. But guess what? You didn't know that it was that. You got to go through your whole application. You got to go through the whole process, debugging this, debugging that, you know, console lock this, take, you get what I'm saying? Put a, uh, put a stop on every section, see where it broke. Like, yes, this happens to the best of us. Okay. Now for anybody that's having this issue, right. And is doing Shopify apps, um, especially on windows, this might be the problem that you're having. If you're getting that error of JWT not active, that's the issue that you're having. Now, mind you, um, I have this right here. This application has been on. It's on the same page, right? So the token has already been there um, set up, right? And everything's working how it's supposed to. And if I come in here, I try to update this, right? I've been recording for what? Like five, six minutes. I click on save. Okay. Guess what? Everything's been good. The data has been saved. And this is the information that got in there. Okay, so everything should be working now. <laughs> oh my God. All I wanted to say, I just wanted to show you this. I don't know. Maybe it could help somebody out. Maybe it won't help nobody. Maybe somebody would just laugh it off. I'm like, you, Joe, you didn't know about this? No, I didn't know about this. You got to have your computer in sync and Windows for whatever reason, when it updates, it goes out of sync and you got to go in manually press a button. This sounds crazy. Okay, but <laughs> this is the world of development. So when you're having issues at home and you're like, man, I wonder how this developers and this instructors like, you know, they're so good and they they find the answers to everything It's like we're going through the same shit you're going through. We're having issues, the same issues that you're having right now. The only thing is that, shoot, maybe we could find it. Maybe you don't know how to do your own Googles, right? But at the end of the day, this is why it's so important that sometimes, you know, you go in and, 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 you, and you take a course. Because when you take a course, you kind of get in the shortcut, right? Like, <laughs> you go in and watch a course that's five hours long. You don't know how long that actually took, right? You see a video on YouTube that is an hour long. You don't know that took that guy eight hours. So in reality, you're saving yourself eight hours of work. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to all the instructors. Shout out to all the your YouTube, you know, guys that do tutorials and things like that. Because you know what? We live in an age where this is a blessing, man. <laughs> this is a blessing. Someone else does the hard work for you to just go in and get the shortcut. Okay. But again, I put this up here just for you guys. Um, so like that, if anybody that's feeling down and be like, man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm stuck here and this, this and that guys, we all go through it. We all get stuck somewhere. Okay. Even if you have 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, you're going to get stuck on something and it's going to be something as simple as sinking your time clock. Okay. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop right here and I'll see you guys in the next video.